morning we're headed off to Baroon Dam, or Baroon Pocket Dam as it's sometimes known. It's an hour and a half north of Brisbane, and it's a beautiful drive to get up here. As you'll see from the signage here, there's plenty of other things that you can actually do within the area here as well, some of which we'll take a look at later on in this video. And it's a pretty easy drive to get down here as well. We were lucky enough this morning to be treated to a beautiful foggy morning and it was great to come down and see the fog sitting over the water here at Baroon. The really cool thing about this place is that you can actually drive along the dam wall as well so that makes it something quite interesting to do while you're here. All right well now that we've checked out the dam wall we're going to take a look at the main recreation area. Let's go check it out. Lake Baroon. Let's go take a look. As you can see from the map here, there is a northern and a southern recreation space here at Baroon. The section that we checked out when we first arrived this morning was the Spillway Common and it has its own covered area with tables as well if you wanted to check out a separate part of the recreation space here. But right now we're going to take a look at the northern recreation area. And as with all of the SEQ water sites around the place, which we love, there's plenty of signage so you always know where you are and what's around as well, which is fantastic. It's time for us to head on down to the lake now. Let's go take a look at it. There's some nice little places to come and sit down by the water here as well. It is a little bit windy today, so water's a bit choppy, but it's still, you know, a lovely place to come and just sit and chill by the water. Very enjoyable. There's so many great little areas here. This place is really well set out. So if you wanted to just come and uh, chill out, sit by the water and enjoy yourself, it's a really good place to do so. One thing I would say though is if it's winter time like it is now, I'd probably venture out here in the afternoon. That way you've got the sun on the site here. As you can see, it's a little bit dim where we are now. It's because it's kind of protected in here. It does get a little bit cool down here and it sometimes gets a little bit windy down here as well. So just bear that in mind. But it's a beautiful day today and it was a beautiful morning this morning. Every time I've been here, I've been here really, really early. and. It's been beautiful and as you would have seen from the drone footage as well, fog over the dam this morning which is fantastic, just looked beautiful so it was really nice to come and check that out. There's a whole host of little paths and uh, little secluded areas here which is pretty cool and they've all got sort of uh, picnic tables at them so even if this place is busy, which I've never seen it busy, you can still come in and uh, find a nice quiet place to sit down by yourself and just enjoy the views of the water which is fantastic. And there's not just a whole lot of separate areas here as well. You'll also find on site that there are a load of free barbecues here. And there's also bathroom facilities on site here as well, which is pretty helpful. Also, as you're coming into the site on the way in on the right hand side, you'll see there's a boat ramp here. So if you wanted to launch and kayak from here, it's a really good place to do so. Also, as we mentioned earlier, there's tons of other things to do within the immediate vicinity here and only a couple of hundred meters away from the entrance to the park where we are today, you'll find an entrance to the Great Walks. 
and you can journey on north from here to Condalilla Falls and a whole host of other different walks can be taken from here as well which is really cool. Also around about 20 minutes down the road towards Brisbane there's a great waterfall called Gardner's Falls which is just outside of Mullaney so if you wanted to go in and check out the Mullaney Township as well it's a really good option to do so and the waterfalls there are fantastic and it's only a couple of hundred meters walk to the falls themselves. Well, that's going to wrap things up for us here at Lake Baroon. Let me know what you think of the place in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share the channel. I really do appreciate that. We'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road. <laughs>